Nobody couldn't believe. He has family, even the brothers. He couldn't believe what happened. Up to today, I still don't believe. Our firstborn son is no more. Whatever happened there, it was like a I don't know how to express it. <sighs> the boy was there, selfless, blood full of the floor, full of on the floor everywhere. They were from their place of work. They work in a casino. I asked them, were you among the demonstrators? He said they were going somewhere with him. They were to meet at a fear center. So they work at Hurlingham. So from where they were, they alighted from. They heard the sound of a what? Tear gas. So looking behind, they saw people running. So they had to run. So the friend ran in front. Rex was left behind. So on looking behind, he saw Rex limping. He tried to come back, but a policeman threw another canister. So he first ran for his life, then went, went to somewhere where he could see Rex. So on seeing Rex seated somewhere and bleed, bleeding furiously, he had to come out. He went to a, a policeman who was just standing somewhere. He asked the policeman, please help me, this is my friend. We take him to a facility where he can get first aid. The only thing he got, the answer he got, mwacha kufeuko. That was the response the policeman gave him. So he was bitter, he went to Rex. So he begged for sympathizers to help him carry Rex. Someone, I don't know, there are some boys, like three boys. They dragged Rex, they crossed that road to a nearby facility by the name Bliss. On arrival at the, the facility, he was, uh, he was pronounced dead even before they could give him any first aid. I could, ne I could not wish for anybody else's child to die in that circumstance. Okay, I was told that if he got helped earlier, he could have survived. But he bled to death without being assisted. I'm bitter. Very bitter as a parent. Because I've not even my kid. They are so many parents now are crying because they never wanted to listen from the word go. Was it uh, the kids didn't stop? The kids didn't stop because mine was the first. They saw and they, they ignored. And if, now we have so many who are, who are lying in, in morgues. In morgues. Other parents are feeling the way I'm feeling. The way we are feeling as family. I don't 
don't know what name to call those guys who said yes, yeah, yes, yes. Even I have the cop, I have a footage of the cop who shot my kid. He has not been apprehended. And he did, that, he did it again the, the other day, shooting live bullets again. It's the same guy? The same guy. The one wearing blue? Yeah. He did it again. I think one of the maybe bloggers. And he was shooting direct to uh, journalists like you. Tear gas, direct in the face. Bullet, gun. I saw the one. Not bullet. I saw the one with it was tear this, gas direct. The, not tear else. gas. Uh -huh. Gun. To the media, direct. And when uh, and, and actually, according to the reports out there now, is that it's not the first time that he's doing so. He has been doing the it. fucking idiot is free, walking, eating. Those kind of things make me very bitter. The guy's not as not everywhere. <coughs> he's been posted everywhere with the family, and he has not been apprehended. Ajay but ajay shikwa. Tuambiwa ameshikwa. Na hata sasa hii watu mwandamie nikienda bado atarudi tu. So when you as a parent who has been affected by the same same cop when you look at him and you look at pictures you look at videos and you see him still in the force. Moja maana hata ni kurana kwa street natembeaga na turuba hapa kwa mgongo. Tatoa nyundo. Sad. So when you look at him and he's still free, do you believe that he's just the hand? There must be someone directly behind the killings giving the orders. We have a president. He runs, he the one who runs the government. If he was to listen to do today, what would you tell him? We as parents, we are sitting back mourning the president is enjoying there because of that small thing. Now he's saying he will not sign. Why could he sit down as a president and say, I will not do this if the whole world doesn't want to do it, if the whole country doesn't want to do it? What was the benefit after? So you want to say if he had done what he did later, much earlier, then probably we won't be in this situation now. Like that. His response later will not pay, will not bring back our kid or other kids. I had a good relationship with my son. Yes. He was so obedient even to the neighbors, to the friends. They used to have a portion of milk given to them by the mother to the friend. And they used to, okay, used to assist me with the small they had. So I've lost something in my heart. I'm looking at that picture that shows a young man who was full of life. A guy with ambitions. Yeah. Last time I asked Rex. Where's your wife? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he laughed. Ah, because I'm a dad. Takuja and I. So you are really expecting a pambele bele? Mm. <laughs> I'll go a grown up boy. Mm. But I want to put a feature of it to my Araka, Araka. No. Mm -hmm. Vive. I could not dare to go to a girlfriend. Mama can tell me, "Oh, you girlfriend, right?" Boys and their mom. Yeah, yeah, boss. Come here. 
So, but the boy was a boy who could never hide anything. Even uh, about the businesses he was creating behind behind the job he was doing, <coughs> he came and told me the same way the mother explained. Even he came and asked his dad, at least we have a side hustle. Mm-hmm. I took at least Kagunia Maindi to make a pilot to Kisiaga to Neza Uzaonga. Nilimbayanus, we have a bundle in Gunia. Gunia, yeah. And the Lena has a Kujakum, Mamba, Fayama, Jakula. You know, let, let me ask you something. Yes. Yeah. From from the way you're talking, yeah. you guys, you are not just father and son. Mm, we are brother. We were brothers. <laughs> we we could discuss anything. Kuna vitu ange uliza mama yake. Kuna vitu ange uliza mama yake. No. Tia yuko kastori kabiashara ili kuwa saida sol alimbe. Well, because I took a capital. Come be a campaign of Gunia, because that was his idea. He wanted to make something that could make his life better. Because uh, the guy did a survey. I saw a survey, but he saw that because your survey couldn't pay or kupata job ilikuwa ngumu so the job he got first hiyo ya casino at least ilikuwa ina msasio na kama ilikuwa katika kidogo but dakika mizo ilimsustain kaanza ku build maisha yake kidogo kidogo 